in our culture, everything's taught to your children. So you kind of absorb everything that she's been teaching you throughout my whole life. Like, I will never buy anything with a number four. It's cultural. Starts from the moment that you enter the building. So that's like your flow of energy. Penny Chutima knows a thing or two about feng shui. You always want to attract. A practice passed on from generation to generation. You're supposed to be bringing in like harmony and everything. Originally from China, feng shui's purpose is to harmonize energy with the environment. In the feng shui culture, you attract what's around you. Penny and her mother own the Valley's popular Lotus of Siam restaurants. She leaned heavily on her mother for feng shui advice when opening each location. From starting every business, it's always been implanted. So it's always been a part of the business, even until now. From the wall colors to decorations and even menus, everything is crafted in a specific way with the expertise of her mother. So they'll tell me like, okay, this location is not good. And I'll be like, all right, fine. Even though for me, I thought it was perfect. Feng Shui advisors like Penny's mom create a plan for those practicing the tradition to use in their day-to-day -day life. Peter Lung, owner of World of Feng Shui, is also a consultant in the Valley. Ambulant will be lucky. He's advised numerous businesses, including some of the biggest resorts on the Strip. They want to get some lucky amulets or lucky uh, feng shui enhancer. He says the feng shui guidance he gives will only work if someone puts in the effort. If you have someone to do feng shui for you, it's not guaranteed that everything will be good, but it helps you. It's based on you. And while it may not be guaranteed, Penny says it's something she'll do forever. For me, I think it's a way of life. What's the harm? It might actually benefit you more than it does harm you.